<laughs> and they say oil boom, they mean oil boom. <laughs> Where else in the country do you have 1% unemployment? Where else in the country can you find a good paying job? Now, you have to work hard. They're not easy jobs. Many of them you work hard and you put in a lot of hours. But you really can get caught up on, on paying off debts and, and, and starting over in life. We didn't have to file bankruptcy. I mean, I mean this, is a, this is American way. You know, if you can still put your boots on, you go to work and you do it. And you provide. And there's a lot of people doing just that. I am from Newport Beach, California, and came up here with my daughter to Tioga, North Dakota to open a restaurant. We saw the opportunity for both of us to come here and make something of it. Uh, that really, back in California, the opportunity wouldn't have been such. In the 90s, uh, people didn't come back to Tioga. It was just, you know, you graduate high school and you just wanted to get out of here as fast as you can because there was no opportunity. So many more young locals moving back to the area and because the opportunities are here. So many people have moved here in the, in the recent past that we are just literally out of housing. There's a lot of construction going on. It's just that when you build homes for four people, uh, six people come. I was listening to the radio today and they said if it was a baseball game, we're like maybe in the first inning, maybe going into the second inning as far as this growth out here goes. The cause of the recent oil boom, you know, I think it's all technology. You know, they, they've always known this Bakken formation is there. They've just never been able to capture the, capture the oil from the formation. I'm a petroleum geologist, live in uh, Tioga, North Dakota. I actually live on a farm northeast of town, and I've been in North Dakota for 33 years. Some people refer to this Bakken as an Oreo cookie. You have these layers of black Bakken shale sourcing. That's the oil source. And when you look at that rock, it is, I mean, it's hard. It's dense. It's tight. But by drilling two miles sideways, that's the horizontal component, and then fracking this rock, which just means cracking it, you then draw the oil out of the entire system. The, the, the area that we worry the most about would be the federal government and regulations, uh, specifically the Environmental Protection Agency. We're concerned that the federal government would look at this and say, you know, we're really not sure, so let's put a moratorium while we study it. Well, that, that would be devastating. From a science standpoint, I know that we're very safe. Different people have asked me, am I an environmentalist? And my answer is yes, absolutely I am. I'm a farmer. I want good, safe drinking water here. I think that the country can, can learn by what North Dakota has done. That's what I would tell Congress. You guys need to come and see this. Come and talk to the people. See what kind of people are here. See what made this country as great as it is. It's hardworking, you know, blue-collar people. Not to say that we don't need politicians but they are, they're not what made this country great. You know, it's people on the ground that made this country great. And North Dakota is full of them.